Hello young learners, a very warm welcome once again to your class 8th English class and today let's start with a new chapter, chapter number 3 that is fun on children's day. Children's day pe aap sab bachi bhoat rada maze karte hai na, school bhi jate hai to school mein bhi you all enjoy a lot when it's a children's day. So what is the fun on children's day, how the children made that fun how the children enjoyed the children's day let's see here so let's warm up children what do you think is the best way of resolving differences and conflicts jab kabhi bhi ek dusre se jhagda hota hai difference of opinion hota hai ya conflicts ho jate hai to kaise usko resolve karte hai complete this well known saying ek kahawat hai it's there's a saying in english and dash for and dash will make the dash blind. So the same goes and I for an I will make the world blind. Okay, children? An I for an I will make the world blind. Mahatma Gandhi used to believe this that agar kisi se apachagra hua hai and you retaliate back. Then what happens? It turns out into a big conflict. Usko resolve karne ki jaga pe wo aur bada ho jata hai. Three classmates are upset with another student in their class. Ab class ka scene hai, ye ek play hai. Isme class ka scene dikhaya diya hai. Aur wahan pe jo teen classmates hai, wo ek dousre bachche se bha zada upset hai. They plan to get even with her. Read on to find out how the situation was prevented from getting out of hand. Kaise jo situation tha, wo haath se nikalne ki jaga pe, usko kaise control kiya gaya. How the situation was handled. We will read here. Okay? So, we start here. The characters in the play. The play hai to isme characters bhi honge. And the characters are, few students are there, their names are Smriti, Avantika, Divya, Sonia, Shashan. Or kon kon hai? A drama teacher hai, class teacher hai. Drama teacher, Mrs. Debroy. And class teacher, Ms. Gubh. Now, scene one. Inside the school auditorium, Smriti, Avantika and Divya are rehearsing a skit which they want to put up on Children's Day. Children's Day pe unhe ek skit karna hai. उसके लिए वो रिहर्सल चल रही है स्कूल ऑडिटोरियम में कौन कौन कर रहे हैं स्मृति अवंतिका एंड दिव्या दे आर मिस विद मिसेस देब्रॉय द गर्ल्स आर प्लेइंग द रोल्स ऑफ थ्री फैशनेबल कैट्स हु आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ग्रूमिंग पार्लर्स फॉर कैट्स और वो जो तीन गर्ल्स जो प्रैक्टिस कर रही हैं वो क्या प्ले कर रहे हैं वो फैशनेबल कैट्स बन रहे हैं नाउ मिसेस देब्रॉय all right, girls, remember to speak clearly, especially the names. They might be a little difficult for the audience to understand. Divya, start from the line about the bonnet. Divya starts speaking. Now, Mrs. Debroy is training them. Names to hai, usko clearly bolna hai, kyunki ho sakta hai, audience samaj me na aaya audience. Now Divya starts, that's a pretty bonnet you are wearing. But why have you covered up your pretty curls? They are playing fashionable cats, so they are talking about that only. Now let's see what's next. Smriti, now Smriti speaks. Wait till I take it off. You'll know then. Honestly, I imagine I'd get a haircut by those experts. As they call themselves. Who? Experts indeed. Now, Avantika. But didn't you go to Fanny's fashionable felliness? Now, they are talking about their haircut. The cats are talking about their haircut. Smriti. Oh dear, no. I wouldn't go there. Even if I had to go bar. They are terrible. I went to Kathy's creations. Four cats. And what a catastrophe. Now, Smriti says, no, I didn't go there. I didn't go to Fanny's fashionable statements. 
मैं किसी और जगह पे गई थी जैसे दिव्या वेल यू शुड गो टू लकी ल्यूक्स लियोनी स्टूडियो दे आर द ओनली वंस हु नो हाउ टू ट्रीट अस राइट नाउ दिव्या एक और जगह का नाम बताती है स्टूडियो का लकी ल्यूक्स लियोनी स्टूडियो कि वहां जाने से उन्हें पता होता है कि कैट्स को कैसे ट्रीट करना चाहिए स्मृति ओ वेल आई हैव हर्ड स्टोरीज अबाउट देम टू इट्स पेनलोप्स पैंपर्ड पर्शियंस फॉर मी फ्रॉम नाउ दे रियलाइज हाउ इंपॉर्टेंट वी आर तो स्मृति कहती है हां मैंने भी उनका नाम बहुत सुना है मिसेस दिव्या ओके स्टॉप देयर दिव्या योर से योर लाइंस विद अ लिटिल मोर स्टाइल एंड Sonia peeps through the door and calls out to Mrs. Debroy. Now, Mrs. Debroy, for Sonia, Divya goes to stop her. Say, "Ki Divya, you have to make your lines a little more stylish." Now, suddenly Sonia door ke bahar se Mrs. Debroy ko bula. Sonia, excuse me, ma'am. May I speak to you for a moment, please? Mrs. Debroy, okay. Take a break, girls. I'll just see what Sonia wants. Mrs. De Bruyne gives break to those three girls. Avantika, yes, girls, let's take a break before Mrs. De Bruyne comes back after meeting the great Sonia. She makes a face in Sonia's direction. Smriti, I wonder what or who she is tattling about to Mrs. De Bruyne. Avantika, I had loved to get even with her for spilling the beans to Mrs. Mr. Sinha. about me taking those roses from the class 11th exhibition after all they were for ma'am now they're talking about sonia why did she have to make such a great fuss about it i did something and sonia ko itna fuss create karne ki kya zarurat thi girls give me some ideas hey i know remember the encyclopedia episode Mr Jane was very very angry when he saw that pages had been torn out from one of the encyclopedias why don't we go and tell him that we had seen sonia tearing out those pages for a project now these three classmates they are not um having a good friendship with sonia sonia ke sath unke achhi friendship nahi hai sonia se uh, uh, sonia ko se upset hai और वो कहते हैं कि क्यों ना हम जाके वो जो एनसाइक्लोपीडिया एपिसोड हुआ था उसके बारे में जाके मिस्टर जैन को बता दें कि वो जो एनसाइक्लोपीडिया से पेजेस फटे थे वो सोनिया ने फटे इट हैपन्स नो व्हेन यू आर नॉट कंफर्टेबल विद एनी पर्सन देन यू थिंक ऑफ क्रिएटिंग ट्रबल फॉर दैट पर्सन सो नाउ सी व्हाट हैपेंस दिव्या ओहो दैट विल टीच हर अ लेसन बट विल ही बिलीव अस नाउ दिव्या सेज कि हां इससे उसको लेसन तो मिलेगा सोनिया को लेकिन क्या मिस्टर जैन बिलीव करेंगे हमको अवंतिका व्हाई नॉट आफ्टर ऑल इट इज थ्री ऑफ अस अगेंस्ट वन एंड वी स्प्रेड द स्टोरी अराउंड द क्लास एज वेल देन शी विल रियली बी इन ट्रबल नाउ अवंतिका सेस क्यों नहीं बिलीव करेंगे क्योंकि हम थ्री हैं और वो अकेली एक है दिव्या ब्रिलियंट आइडिया लेट्स डू इट नाउ दिव्या सेस दिस इज अ ग्रेट आइडिया Yes, we'll spread everything in the class also. Ye yeah, news on class may be spread. Smriti, hey, wait a moment. I'm not sure about this. What if she gets suspended for this? Now, Smriti says ki ek minute ko abhi agar aisa hum kuch karte hain aur usko yahan se suspend kar diya jata hai, then what? Avantika, oh, will you relax? She won't get suspended for such a harmless matter, but she will definitely get a good scolding from Mr. Jeff. I'd like to see her face then. Oh, what fun! Now, Antika says, "Tum kya sochte hai? Itne se harmless cheese ke liye kya usko suspend kiya jayega? Nahi. Lekin usko bahut achhi dance padegi Mr. Jeff se, and it will be fun seeing that." The bell rings and the girls go in the direction of the library to carry out their mischievous plan. I mean, a mischievous, a very mischievous, se bhara hua plan tha, naughty plan of these naughty three naughty girls. Ye isko execute karne ke liye library ki taraf chal. Now scene two. 
Inside the classroom, it is the communication and social skills period. Ms. Guha, who is the class teacher, is taking attendance. She can hear some whispering in the class. Avantika, Divya and Smriti are giggling. Now, Mrs. Ms. Guha ki class hai, or communication skills or social skills ki class hai. Aur waha wo attendance le rahi hai, tab unko kisi ki pus pusahat ki awaz aati hai, whispering ki awaz aati hai. Whispering means dhiri dhiri bol. And wo dekhti hai ki ye teen ou girls aapas mein baat kar rahi hai aur hans rahi hai. Ms. Guha, all right, let's begin the class, shall we? We are going to play hangman to guess the topic of today's discussion. Now Ms. Guha starts the class. You have to guess the six letters that make up this word. Get me? Aaj ki class jis topic pe hai, uske liye mein hangman khelenge and tum sabko ye six letters guess karne hai. Ye kaun sa word ban hai? She draws the image and six gaps for the word she wants to draw out from the students. Come on. Start guessing. Now Ms. Guha says, start guessing the word. Divya, does the word have an O? Ms. Guha, yes, it does. She writes the letter in the correct gap. Now, O is written in correct gap. Smriti, does the word have a G and a P, ma'am? Ms. Guha, yes. And you are very close to guess the word, Smriti. Avantika, I think I know the word, ma'am. It, is it gossip? Ms. Guha, full points to your team, Avantika. Good, now that you have guessed the word, let me check. Does anyone know the story of the feather pillow? All the students. No, ma'am. All chorus in unison. Now she says, ki, let me guess, ki kya kisi ko wo feather pillow wale story aati hai? Suni hai apne? Sabhi students bote hai? No. They haven't heard. Ms. Guha. Well, let me tell it to you then. Now Ms. Guha starts with the feather pillow story. There was once a wise man that the entire village looked up to. But a certain villager got upset because the wise man had given him some advice that he didn't like. Ab ek baar wo story start karte hai ki ek village me ek wise man tha jisko sab bahut wise mante the lekin ek wah villager aisa tha jo ki us wise man ke advice ko nahi wo like karta tha kyunki usko jo advice di thi wise man ne wo usko achhi nahi lagi so the villagers spread a wicked rumor about the wise man to us villager ne kya kiya ek bahut wicked rumor phaila di galat बात उसके लिए फैला दी उस वाइस मैन के लिए पूरे विलेज में इवेंचुअली ही वाज डिस्कवर्ड एज द वन हु हैड स्टार्टेड द लाइ द वाइस मैन हाउवर फॉरगिव हिम बट टू प्रूव अ पॉइंट ही सेट अ टास्क फॉर द मैन एनी गेसेस व्हाट द वाइस मैन आस्क्ड हिम टू डू मिस गोहा वेट्स फॉर द रिस्पांस फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट्स अब वो स्टोरी में आगे बताती है कि धीरे धीरे सबने ये पता कर लिया कि ये झूठ किसने फैलाई थी रूमर किसने फैलाई थी उस वाइस मैन ने तो उस विलेजर को माफ कर दिया था लेकिन एक पॉइंट प्रूव करने के लिए एक टास्क दिया था क्या कोई बता सकता है कि वो क्या टास्क दिया होगा वाइस मैन ने उस विलेज में स्मृति मे बी ही टोल्ड द मैन टू वर्क इन हिस्स फील्ड फॉर अ वीक और आस्ट हिम टू मिस वेल नॉट एग्जैक्टली और स्मृति ने जो बात बताई मिस ने बोला नहीं ये नहीं ही आज द मैन टू गेट अ फेदर पिलो मिस गुहा से उस वाइज मैन ने उस विलेजर को एक फेदर पिलो लाने के लिए कहा ही टुक द पिलो एंड केयरफुली ओपन अप द सी देन व्हाट डू यू थिंक ही डिड विद इट एनीवन वेट्स फॉर द रिस्पांस अगेन शी आस्क द क्वेश्चन कि वो फेदर पिलो लेके उसको जब ओपन किया तो उसके बाद क्या किया दिव्या He gave the man a feather and asked him to write something with it. Maybe, Miss Guha. No, he didn't ask the man to do that. Any other guesses? Now the teacher is interacting with the children. Or we say question story. We are telling you. Or question we are asking. Shashank, ma'am, I think he asked the man to distribute the feathers to everyone to the village. 
अब शशांक एक स्टूडेंट को बोलता है कि मैम हो सकता है कि उसने वो जो फेदर पिलो खोला तो उसमें से सारे एक एक फेदर हर एक विलेजर को बांटने के लिए कहा वेल ऑलमोस्ट करेक्ट बट ही वॉन्टेड द मैन टू डू समथिंग स्ट्रेंजर दैन दैट He gave the opened pillow to the man and told him to walk as far as he could and scatter the feathers in the wind as he went along. Us man ne bola Shishank ko ki tum bilkul close ho uske lekin jo wise man tha usne villager ko ye kaha tha ki jo open maine pillow ko open kiya feather ke liye to isko leke usko carry karte hue jao aur scatter karo feathers ko jahan tak ye feathers ja sakte hain wind ke sath. After he had scattered all the feathers, he was to come back to the wise man. When he came back, the wise man told him, "Now go and collect all those feathers and put them back in the pillow." अब जब वो villager सारे feathers को फैला देता है पूरे village में जहाँ तक वो wind के साथ जा सकते हैं feathers और वापस आता है wise man के पास तो wise man कहता है, "अब वापस जाओ." और सारे फेदर्स को इकट्ठा करो और इस पिलो में वापस जाओ स्मृति ओह हाउ वुड ही डू दैट स्मृति कहती ऐसा कैसे कर सकता है वो यस दैट्स हाउ द मैन मस्ट हैव रिएक्टेड टू बट व्हाट डू यू थिंक ही लर्न फ्रॉम दिस टास्क मिस्टर बोलते ये ऐसा ही रिएक्शन उस आदमी का भी आया होगा लेकिन इस टास्क से उसने क्या सीखा अवंतिक आई थिंक What the wise man wanted to show was that words like feathers spread far and wide and cannot always be taken back. Now, Avantika बोलती है कि उस wise वो wise man ये दिखाना चाहता होगा कि जैसे feathers feathers एक बार spread हो गए वैसे ही words अगर फैला दिए जाते हैं गलत चीज फैला दी जाती है तो वो words कभी वापस नहीं आते. Miss, yes, you have got the point. Just then, there is an announcement on the intercom. Tabi intercom big announcement hota hai. Voice in the intercom. Miss Guha is requested to meet the parents of Sonia Francis in the meeting room on the ground floor. Intercom se kya aavaz aati hai ki Miss Guha ko bulaya jata hai ki wo Sonia ke parents se aake mile ground floor mein meeting room. Miss Guha, I'll be back in a few minutes. Shashank, please handle the class. Miss Guha leaves. Meanwhile, Smriti, Divya, and Avantika start whispering. Smriti, hey, do you think Sonia's parents are here because of that lie we spread about her? Is she in big trouble now? Ab Smriti says that we have spread the truth about Sonia. 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 That what we did was not right at all, and this thing seems to be getting out of control too. Now Divya also realizes that जो उन लोगों ने किया है वो ठीक नहीं है. Avantika, I know. I never thought that it would go this far, and I think Miss Guha purposely told us this story. She wants to say something to us specially. And Avantika कहती है. कि हमें ये नहीं करना चाहिए था और हमने नहीं सोचा था कभी भी कि ये चीज इतनी दूर तक जाएगी उसके पेरेंट्स सबको बुला लिया जाएगा और मिस गुहा ने हम सबको जो स्टोरी सुनाई है जानबूझ के सुनाई है हमें रियलाइज करवाने के लिए दैट व्हाट वी डिड वाज रॉन्ग दिव्या डू यू थिंक शी नोज अवंतिका वाई एल्स वुड शी टेल अस दिस स्टोरी अवंतिका कहते हैं तो वो क्यों हमें ये स्टोरी सुनाते स्मृति आई थिंक वी नीड टू स्पीक टू मिस गुहा Avantika, oh, here she is. Miss Guha comes back to the classroom. Ma'am, can we talk to you in private for a minute, please? It's important. I will Miss Guha say request that they keep private. Me, unko baat karni hai, Miss Guha. Miss Guha, yes, of course, girls. Where would you like to talk? Here or in the counseling room? Smriti, I think let's go to the counseling room. Miss Guha, fine. Miss Guha and the three girls, Avantika, Smriti, and Divya, go to the counseling room. And go Miss Guha ke saath the log girls counseling room mein chali jaye. Now scene three. Inside the counseling room, Miss Guha. So tell me, do you need some kind of help? 
बिल्कुल हम पूछते हैं तीनों लड़कियों से कि क्या तुम्हें किसी तरह की हेल्प चाहिए स्मृति वेल वी एक्चुअली वांट टू टेल यू दैट द स्टोरी हैज मेड अस थिंक अबाउट अ र्यूमर वी स्प्रेड अवंतिक वी आर फीलिंग वेरी बैड अबाउट इट वी डिडंट मीन टू हर्ट एनीबॉडी अब दीस गर्ल्स हैव नाउ रियलाइज्ड देयर मिस्टेक इन दैट गलती का एहसास होता है और वो मिस कमिंग से बात करती है कि हमने जो र्यूमर फैलाई है वो गलत था we are feeling very bad hum kisi ko hurt nahi karna chahte divya we want to say sorry but we don't know how miss kuha that's the right thing to do girls and i am very pleased to know that you have learned a valuable lesson from the story don't worry the matter can be resolved you only need to sincerely apologize to the person about whom you spread the rumor come on Let's go to the class and try to set the matter straight. Now, Miss Guha says, "The we sorry man, the Miss Guha." So now, Miss Guha says that yes, this is the right thing to do. You have to sorry, bolna chahiye. Kis ke kis ko ja ke sorry bolna chahiye. Jis ke liye aapne ye baat kahi ye rumor phailaya hai. Usko ja ke sorry bolna chahiye. Or I am very happy ki aapne ek lesson liya here is to. And they all go back to the class. सब क्लास में वापस सो वॉट अ बिग लेसन दीज थ्री गर्ल्स हैड लर्न फ्रॉम दैट स्टोरी कितना अच्छा लेसन मिला उनको जब वो स्टोरी उन्होंने इस कुछ से सुनी सो नेवर स्प्रेड एनी रॉन्ग थिंग फॉर एनी बडी बिकॉज वर्ड्स वंस गॉन इज गॉन एक बार जो शब्द चले जाते हैं वो चले जाते हैं तो किसी के लिए गलत नहीं बोलना चाहिए कॉम्प्रीहेंशन लेट स्टार्ट Darken the correct option in the OMR sheet. Mrs. Tebroy asked the girls to speak clearly because they are making mistakes. They are speaking too fast. They are speaking too slow. The audience may find the names difficult. It's D. The audience may find the names difficult. Why is Smriti wearing a bonnet? It makes her look pretty. It's very fashionable. She wants to hide her bad haircut. It matches her clothes. She wants to hide her bad haircut. Which of the following names are mentioned in the play? Frank's fashionable fellness. Kathy's Kathy's creations for cats. Larry Luke's Leoni studio. Penelope's pampered Persian. The two names have been mentioned in the play: Kathy's creation for cats and Penelope's pampered Persians. Now fill in the blanks. There are some words given: fashionable, rehearsing, attendance, bonnet. Smriti, Avantika, and Divya are dash a skit. They are rehearsing a skit. Fine. The girls are playing the roles of three dash cats, three fashionable cats, three fashionable cats. Okay. Next is the we are start from the line about the attendance, about the bonnet, about the bonnet. And the last one is Miss Guha, who is the class teacher, is taking attendance. Fine. Right? Now say if the given statements are true T or false X. Mrs. Devroy, the class teacher, is taking attendance. Yes, this is true. Who are going to play hangman to guess? Sorry, we are going to play hangman to guess the topic of today's discussion. Yes, this Devroy, Mrs. Devroy, said this. This is true. The bell rings and the girls go in the direction of the playground. No, this is false. The girls were rehearsing inside the school auditorium. True. Answer the following questions. Why are the girls rehearsing a skit? What is the skit about? The girls are rehearsing a, for a skit which has to be put on the children's day, and they the skit is about. Three fashionable cats. Next is who interrupts the rehearsals and why? Sonia interrupts the rehearsals as she wants to talk to Mrs. Debra. 
What do the girls start doing when Mrs. Devroy leaves? When Mrs. Devroy leaves the class with Sonia, uh, leaves the uh, rehearsal uh, with Sonia, then these three girls, they start making a plot how to trouble Sonia because they didn't like Sonia and they wanted to put her in trouble. Which girl expresses her fears about what they plan to do? What did she fear? Smriti expresses her fear. Smriti was the girl who expresses her fear that whatever they are planning to do, whatever they have planned to do might create a big trouble and Sonia might be suspended from the school also. Now children, using some prepositions of place. Some of the prepositions of time here are we only making a prepositions of place. So these are the prepositions of place used at, in, on. And how to use them? At the airport, at the clinic, at the school, at university, then in, in bed, in picture, in the sky, in hospital, on, on the phone, on the radio, on television, on the first floor, on the ground floor. Fine? So these are some of the prepositions of place. Now, prepositions and conjunctions. Certain words can function as either prepositions or conjunctions depending upon how they are used in a sentence. Kuch words aise hain jo ki prepositions ki tarah use hote hain aur kuch hote hain jo conjunctions ki tarah use hote hain. Uh, depending ki kaisa usage hai uska sentence. As conjunctions they connect clauses. Conjunctions clauses ko connect karte hain aur prepositions they connect a noun or a pronoun. Jo prepositions hain wo ek noun or pronoun ko connect karte to the other words in the sentence. Ya to noun ko connect karenge dousre words ke saath ya pronoun ko connect karenge dousre words ke saath. Wo hai preposition. This table below lists some such words. One side prepositions ka usage and on the other side the conjunctions. Schools will be closed till next Tuesday. So ab dekhi, isme kisse connect kiya? Till next Tuesday. So it has been connected with the now, schools will be closed. I waited for two hours. The work has been going on since July. Why is Tom running after Jerry? So, these are some of the prepositions. Now, the conjunctions. Please wait till you are called. Two clauses are being added. Please wait, you are called. This code till se hamne join. I shut the window for there is a storm. She slept soundly since she was tired. Well, you call. Will you call after you reach the station? Now, identify whether the highlighted words are prepositions or conjunctions. Now, here the words highlighted are preposition or conjunction. That we have to find out. We have to underline that. I worked hard. But could not clear my exams. So this but is, what is this? Underline the prepositions and circle the conjunction. But is conjunction. Ye do clause ko join kar hai. I worked hard, could not clear my exams. So this is conjunction, so circle it. Mother told me to return home before 7. This is a preposition. Okay. He walked continuously for two hours. This is also a preposition. For two hours. He went home since he had a cold. He went home, he had a cold. Two clauses are joined with since. So this is a conjunction. Please wait here till the bell rings. Please wait here, the bell rings. Two clauses are added on by till. So this is also a conjunction. Fine. I gave my puppy... All away. I gave my puppy away as I was going abroad. So this is a preposition. Fine children. Now speaking skills. Work in groups of four. A class may have four K groups to manage. Take turns interviewing each other. Interviewing each other. Interview karna hai aapko. Ek dusre ka interview lena hai. 
ask your partners these questions jab aap interview kar rahe hain kisi ka to usko questions puchhenge kaise questions puchhenge what's your hobby or what interests you how did you get interested in it aapki kya hobby hai kya interest hai aur aapko kaise aaya interest usme which other activity would you like to do if you had the opportunity ye sab cheeze jab interview hota hai to puchhi jati hai that only you have to enact in the class now the writing skills write a paragraph how did you like to celebrate children's day ab children's day ko aap kaise celebrate karna chahte hain that you have to write down your views in a paragraph fine the value sonia was accused of tattling by avantika and her friends should she had just kept quiet instead of making a fuss about it would you say that avantika and her friends had a good reason for being upset with sonia justify your response jo avantika aur uske friends ne sonia ke sath kiya tha was it right was it good usko upset usse upset hue the aur wo usse upset rehte the sonia se aur unhone ye trick play kiya uske sath was it good no this was not good whatever avantika and her friends had done okay so children here we end up with our chapter and i hope you had a good time reading this chapter because this chapter has made you learn many things and it had a very good moral value that don't spread wrong words for anyone because words once gone is gone they never come back so children stay tuned for a new video i'll be back with a very new chapter for you till then keep learning and stay blessed bye